Hello, welcome to the sixth part of cold modeling tutorials. Today we're going to model uh, the hammer of the weapon. So let's begin. Select uh, the slide, hit tab for edit mode. Select this whole edge loop, hit X and delete faces. Now we will select uh, the edge loop again. E for extrude, click immediately and then scale inwards. Now we will uh, adjust those two vertices, move them down. And uh, select the edge loop again. Hit B and with middle mouse button deselect those vertices S, Y and 0 and move it in about there. Now select the edge loop again and with B and middle mouse deselect those vertices S, Y, 0 hit enter and move it in as well. Okay, now we will extrude. First of all, let's adjust some points. Right here. Just to make it smoother. Okay, now select the edge loop, hit E for extrude and click immediately, move it in just a bit and then extrude again, go to the front orthographic view and S, X and 0, move it right there. Okay, now we will hit 5 on the numpad to go inside the mesh and we will fill those faces just by select, selecting the four vertices and hitting F. Do the same until all the faces are filled. and uh, add an edge loop here just to sharpen that up make it look better okay now select uh, the lower part of the weapon the grip go in edit mode select those two edge loops hit 5 for orthographic view again, extrude, move it in just a bit and then extrude again and X and move it inwards, S, X and 0 again and move it to be right here. Okay, 5 again to go inside the mesh, press tab, select the slide and hit H to hide it. And now delete all those vertices. And we will fill those faces as we did uh, with the slide.
Okay. Hit Alt, Alt and H to bring a slide back. And maybe we want to move the inward just a bit. Yeah. And now select this piece. Hit tab and extrude those vertices along the x axis. And uh, now hit the slide and let's model the hammer. Go in orthographic view, enter face select mode. Select those faces, hit Shift D and click to leave it in place, then P and separate selection. Tab to go in object mode, click right here to select uh, just the faces that we separated and go in edit mode. Go in edge select mode, select those edges with shift, hit X, edge loops. So we left just four vertices. And now go in front orthographic view, extrude, move it back. Add an edge loop here. Go in vertex select mode. And now we will extrude again. Scale only in the Z axis. And we will model the hammer. Move all those vertices up until here. Okay. Extrude again. SZ. and uh, move the vertices so they can fit the image in the background move those up and those as well Let's see now. Add an edge loop here and move it up. And another one here, move it down. All right. Now we will select the bottom vertices, hit E and move it down. And we can hit E again, just to sharpen that up. And with uh, those vertices selected, hit Shift S, cursor to select it. Then 
hit tab set origin to 3d cursor oops let's do that again because it didn't work select those vertices let's see why the cursor doesn't go right here cursor to select it, yes go in object mode, set origin to 3d cursor and now if you rotate along the y axis you can see that the hammer works just fine and adjust the vertices here to match the image and let's fill uh, the gap right here select those vertices S, Y move it in and move them along the x-axis just a bit and you can move those in as well okay if you want the, some more details uh, you can adjust the hammer a bit you can uh, add the two edge loops here Scale them in the Y just a bit. Add an edge loop here too. And then select uh, those faces. First of all, select the hammer Shift 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 H to hide the rest of the gun. Select those faces. and delete them then you can uh, fill the gaps move those not those move those vertices down to hide them into the mesh and now you can add a torus hit T and uh, input 12 in major segments rotate it along the x-axis 90 degrees and scale it down scale it in the y Okay, and uh, then you can add with Shift A mesh a cylinder, hit T and input uh, 12 in the vertices, rotate the cylinder along the x axis 90 degrees, scaling down. And we want to put them inside the torus. Mm. 
ok we can select the cylinder and hit shift s cursor to select it then tab and select the hammer and set origin to 3d cursor so the hammer can move uh, around uh, the cylinder r y as you see If you want uh, some more detail, you can do that. And uh, of course, uh, you can add, you can hit Control 2 to add the subdivision surface modifier to the torus and then set smooth. You can do the same to the cylinder and set smooth. But uh, for the cylinder, you have to add, go in edit mode and add two edge loops and scale them in the Y just to hold the, the edges. And now I think it's okay. Of course, you can add some edge loops here to make it look better, if you want. And uh, this concludes uh, the sixth part of the cold modeling tutorial. I hope to see you all uh, in the next part. Thank you very much.